If your diet involves you eating a whole lot of fruit and not much else, then you should probably lose weight pretty easily from doing that, right? Wrong. There's this pretty popular diet out there, especially among vegans, that involves eating like 70% fruit. And not only have people generally not lost weight from it, but a lot of people have reported actually gaining large amounts of weight, like even up to 100 pounds from eating this diet that's largely made up of fruit. And this diet is called Raw Till 4, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about some reasons why eating this way can cause large amounts of weight gain. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a PhD candidate using scientific studies to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, and health goals. I especially like to go over topics that not too many people are talking about, or ones that have a lot of myths surrounding them from all the different influencers and media and everyone talking about it, because most people don't actually go to the science. So why talk about the raw till 4 diet? Well, it was quite popular among vegans several years ago, and now you mostly see it talked about as the way that a lot of vegans gained weight back in the day. And a lot of what they talk about is how they lost the weight that they had gained back in the day when they were on raw till 4. And what is raw till 4? If you've never heard of it, it was started by two high-carb vegans many years ago, <laughs> several years ago, it's been a while. And the principle is that you are supposed to only eat raw foods until 4 p.m. So breakfast and lunch are supposed to be completely made up of raw foods, especially fruit. So some classic breakfasts on this diet are like 10 banana shakes and 10 date shakes, so like a smoothie or shake made out of 10 bananas and 10 dates, or an entire plate of six mangoes. So large quantities of delicious fresh fruit for breakfast and lunch usually. And then at dinner, they advocate having a starch-based meal, so a cooked meal um, after four o'clock. And this is often consisting of potatoes and rice, things like sushi, anything high carb especially. So generally this diet is a high carb, low fat diet that is high raw or high in raw foods and has a starch dinner. And there's no limitations at all on portions and you're not supposed to restrict yourself at all. And I'll actually get into that more later. So the most natural place to start in trying to figure out why raw till 4 can cause so much weight gain is fructose, because people love to talk about how fructose causes tons of weight gain, it's ruining our society, it's the reason that obesity is a thing now, and all that kind of stuff. And the reason it's relevant here is because fructose is a sugar that is found in fruit. And what I see a lot of people point to when they talk about raw till 4 diets is, well, you're eating so much fructose, how could you not gain weight? So I went and found a meta-analysis looking at how fructose affects your weight. And a meta-analysis is a study that actually takes the results from a ton of other different studies and sort of gets down to the truth of the question. So seeing if there's any consistencies across all these different studies done on this topic. And this meta-analysis used 41 studies looking at how feeding people fructose affected their weight. And the studies found that when you replaced carbohydrates in someone's diet with fructose, so like, for example, take away the potatoes, take away the whole grains, and replace all of that with just pure liquid fructose in your diet, you don't actually gain weight. Your weight stays the same. So just eating fructose by itself as part of your regular diet does not seem to be enough to cause weight gain. And the other half of studies in this meta-analysis looked at what happened when you forced people to overeat on fructose. So they had people eat their normal diets, and then on top of those normal diets that were at their total daily energy expenditure, so they were eating maintenance calories, they actually added on an additional 20 to 100% of their usual calories in the form of fructose. So let's say that I eat 2,000 calories a day in my usual diet, then what they would do is add another 2,000 calories, in some cases, of fructose. That is a lot <laughs> of extra calories and fructose. But what they found is that people only really gained a modest amount of weight over a few months of this kind of diet, and definitely not more than would have been expected just from increasing your calories by 2,000 calories. And so the verdict of these studies is adding a bunch of fructose to your diet or replacing your normal food with fructose doesn't really cause weight gain unless you're way overeating above the number of calories you need in a day. And I meant to add this meta-analysis did not include studies that looked at high fructose corn syrup, which is good because that's not relevant to raw till 4. You probably won't be eating like anything with 
high fructose corn syrup on raw till four, but if you're curious about that, whether high fructose corn syrup causes weight gain, drop a comment below. Pretty sure it does, but I haven't looked directly at the studies, so who knows, maybe, again, culture could be wrong on this one. So the answer to the question of whether eating a bunch of fructose is responsible for weight gain on raw till four seems to be a pretty resounding no. So what is causing it then? And that brings me to my next point about why it is that raw till four causes weight gain. But before I move on, just wanted to give you a reminder to hit the notification bell below if you want to keep up with my videos and please subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join us in our little community here. And for the rest of this video, I've got the three main reasons that raw till four causes weight gain. And then after that, I'm going to talk about why raw till four is this rare case that carbs actually can lead to weight gain. Because usually, especially if you've seen my videos in the past, you probably know this, that in general, having a carb binge or eating above your calorie needs with just carbs does not really cause weight gain in a lot of studies done on it. So if you haven't seen those videos yet, here's a few examples, check them out. And I'm also going to address the fact that people say that often after the initial raw till four weight gain, you end up just naturally losing it and you just have to get past that initial metabolic healing and all that kind of stuff in order to get to the weight loss phase. So I'm also going to talk about that. But yeah, so stick around because I've got a lot of cool stuff for you in this video. So my biggest theory about why raw till four causes weight gain is that the mantra of the people who created the diet or like their catchphrase is to smash in the calories. And what they're saying, which I think is coming from a very well-intentioned place, is make sure you're not under eating. Like a lot of people who switch to a vegan diet, especially if they go straight from a Western diet or a really calorie dense diet to this low calorie density diet, then it makes sense that you have to be careful to eat enough because your normal portion size on a high calorie density diet is not gonna be enough to sustain you on this low calorie density diet. And so despite the whole smash in the calories thing being well-intentioned, what it ended up causing was it made people way overeat on this diet. Like you can see from people's testimonials on it that they were eating till they were sick, they were putting 2,000 calories in a single smoothie at breakfast because they felt like they were supposed to to make sure they weren't starving as the founders of Raw Till 4 talk about a lot. And so people just ended up eating way, way past satiety and this is a great formula for weight gain. And if you've watched my other videos, you probably heard me talk about this or if you follow me on Instagram. And a great way to lose weight, if not the best way to lose weight, is to make sure that you are eating when you're hungry and stopping when you're full. And that's called intuitive eating. It may sound intuitive and obvious and like everyone does it, but actually a lot of people don't wait to eat until they're actually physiologically hungry. And especially in this case of raw till four, people often way overeat past what they need. So they reach the point at which they're satiated, like comfortably, slightly full, no longer hungry. And then they just keep eating as much as their stomach can possibly handle. And it's that space between I'm comfortably full and I'm uncomfortably full that causes weight gain. And so even if you're eating this high carb diet, if you are consistently eating way past fullness and or eating before you're actually hungry, any diet is gonna cause weight gain, pretty much. And the second big reason that raw till four has caused a lot of people to gain large amounts of weight, I think is because quite a few people who try that diet are coming from disordered eating backgrounds. So often people are wanting to escape a background of overly restricting their diet and want to finally feel free and like they can eat as much as they want, which high carb is a great way to do that. And often people are coming from a binging background and they feel that they can binge on fruit without gaining weight. And this diet advocates to eat tons. Like I think they even say the minimum you should eat is like 3000 calories. And a lot of people eat upwards of 5,000, 10,000 calories on this diet by just eating tons of dates and bananas, essentially. And so if people are coming from eating disordered backgrounds, particularly if they have binged recently, then their stomachs are gonna be stretched, like beyond the normal capacity that people can handle. And trust me, I know, I've been there. It's like a superhuman feat of stomach stretching if you come from a background of binging. And so if you come from this binging background, and then you go on this diet that is actually encouraging massive overeating, then your already stretched out stomach is gonna be able to fit a ton of bananas and dates and just massive numbers of calories. And so you're gonna be able to gain even more weight from this diet because 
your stomach is able to stretch out more. So being told to overeat at every meal essentially and having a stomach that can handle more stretching than most people is a perfect formula to gain weight. And before I get into the why this diet is a special case for gaining weight on carbs, I'm gonna give you my third main reason that I think people gain weight on raw tofu. And that is because when you are not able to eat something you're craving, you are almost always gonna eat a ton of everything else to try to scratch that itch. And you never really will satisfy that craving, but you will end up eating way more of other stuff just to get enough sense of reward to at least stop thinking about the craving. And there's actually studies showing, I've actually gone over one of these in one of my videos, that if you deal with problem foods or trigger foods by avoiding them, you're actually likely to overeat more than if you just let yourself have some of that food. And the reason that really applies here is because raw tail four is very strict about the types of foods you can have. You can't have high fat foods, and before 4 p.m. you can't even have any cooked food. So let's say you wake up and you're craving a donut because you're a person or you're craving even just a bowl of oatmeal. Well, you can't have it because raw till four says so. So then you start eating way more of other stuff, like all this different kind of fruit to try to satisfy that craving. But really you've just eaten more than you would have if you just let yourself have the donut or the oatmeal. And on that note, anything, any diet that imposes strict rules on what you can eat, when you can eat, how much you can eat, is just gonna set you up for overeating because making something forbidden and limiting yourself is a great way to cause you to actually go on a big binge. And now to quickly address the fact that people say that on raw till four, you initially gain weight and then after an adjustment period, some people say it's metabolic healing, people then start to lose weight after their initial weight gain. And I think when this does work for people, what's happening is they're actually learning to listen to their body's signals. Because if you are coming from a background of restricting your diet or overeating or just generally any kind of diet culture, almost no one ends up eating intuitively past their childhood because society just does not encourage it at all. Um, so I think what happens is that when people initially gain weight, they're ignoring their fullness signals, they're ignoring their hunger signals, and then once they start to ease into the diet, feel more comfortable with it, they no longer feel this need to overeat constantly, and so they actually stop eating once they're full and start only eating once they're hungry, maybe because they're tired <laughs> of eating bananas and dates and mangoes all the time. So if you're having very little food variety and you've been eating the same foods for a long time and you're tired of stuffing yourself, then that would make a lot of sense why after this initial weight gain, you're able to lose the weight. And that's just a more negative way of putting the idea that people are learning to eat intuitively throughout this diet because the diet does not restrict them. So because they don't have to ignore their hunger signals on raw till four, like they might have on past diets, they can also stop ignoring their fullness signals. So now you're probably asking, but Mish, I thought carbs can't really turn into fat. And yes, most of the time, carbs don't really cause substantial weight gain. And the reason you can't usually turn carbs into fat efficiently at all is because you can only turn small percentages of carbs into fat. So for example, let's say you can only turn 10% of all the carbs you eat into body fat. Well, in this case where you're massively overeating by thousands of calories a day, let's say you're eating 2,000 calories over your maintenance level of calories, which is a pretty standard amount that people are overeating on raw till four diets. So let's say if you're overeating by 2,000 calories, then you're gonna be able to store 10% of that or 200 calories as body fat. And if you were to put on 200 calories a day as body fat, then you're gonna gain almost half a pound a week. So over time, that is a clear reason why even overeating on carbs, you can gain some weight. And another reason why you can gain decently substantial amounts of body fat on a very low fat diet is because if you're eating massive amounts of anything, even if it's ultra low fat foods, you're gonna still have quite a bit of fat in your diet because nothing is truly fat free. So for example, let's say you have 10 mangoes, 10 bananas, and 10 dates in a day of raw till four. I'm just using these as examples because they are very low fat foods that are very commonly eaten for breakfast and lunch on a raw till four diet. So if you were to eat, 10 mangoes, 10 dates, and 10 bananas, you would eat 3,700 calories and 17 grams of fat, even from those very, very low fat foods. And theoretically, you could turn almost all of that fat into body fat because you definitely do not need to burn it off in order to get enough calories for the day. You will need to use some for your metabolic processes requiring fat, but then the rest of it is just fair game for storing as body fat. 
And for example, let's say we could only store 10 grams out of that 17 grams of fat as body fat, then that would still be 90 calories of body fat a day just coming from your dietary fat on your ultra low fat diet. And so if you were to put on about 100 calories a day of body fat every day, then you would gain about a quarter of a pound a week of body fat, which again, really adds up over time. And another thing you might be saying is, but wait, calories don't really matter, especially when you have a high carb diet. And yes, that is true when you are near maintenance. As you may remember from my exercise video recently, talking about which types of exercises are best for different types of diets for weight loss. When you are near your maintenance calories, calories in versus calories out starts to matter a lot less. But if you're eating way over or way under, then even the crude calorie estimate is going to predict what's gonna happen. So if you eat like 200 calories over or under, things can get pretty wonky depending on where those calories are coming from and what types of exercise you're doing. So you can't really predict what's gonna happen to your weight. But if you're eating 2000 calories over or 2000 calories under, then you're gonna see effects in one of those directions because even though calories are crude, they still are correlated with how much energy you're absorbing. And to put that more concretely, if you are eating 200 calories over your energy expenditure, kinda could go either way depending on if it's carbs or fat. But if you're eating 2000 calories over the number of calories you need in a day, then even a high carb diet probably can't really save you. <laughs> and I don't hate the raw till four diet more than I dislike any other strict diet because I mean, I think it's great that they're encouraging people to eat enough and allowing people to eat as much as they want. I think that's really important. I also like that the diet involves lots of fresh produce, lots of healthy fruits and vegetables, lots of great starches. I think it's a very helpful way for people who are so used to having extreme food rules in their life to transition towards healthy, intuitive eating because it still has enough rules that people can feel like they're in control by eating raw before four, but I still think it's more rules than anyone needs. So the main reasons that raw tail floor causes weight gain is it forces you to overeat, it is kind of dangerous for people coming from a binging background, and it prevents you from having the real things you want, like high fat foods or cooked foods before 4 p.m. And you can turn carbs into fat in this case in a substantial way because you're just eating so far over your energy needs that even a high carb diet can't stop that weight gain. And I'd love to hear from you have you ever tried raw till four? Do you know anyone who tried raw till four? Can you think of any other reasons it might be causing weight gain? Comment below, because I'd love to hear from you. I hope this answered your question. I've gotten this one a couple times in the past, and then on my last video, or two videos ago now, I guess, some of you commented saying you wanted to see it. So thank you for your input. I always really appreciate it. And I hope this was interesting to you. If you like the video, please share and like it. It would help me out a lot. And if you're feeling extra generous, you can head on over to my Patreon where you can donate even just a dollar or two a month really helps me out and makes me really happy. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I hope you have a lovely day.